Auckland, New Zealand with Vessels 11th Hour Racing and we are just getting ready for leg 7 of the Volvo Ocean Race from Auckland to Itajay. Um, life on board is pretty tough most of the time, there's no creature comforts at all, um, there's a lot of water coming over the boat, uh, you're either way too hot or way too cold, the food isn't necessarily what you choose but um, it really is an opportunity to see how far you can push yourself and it's amazing to be part of a team where you really do rely on each other. So. While it's a really tough race, it's really, really rewarding and I'm looking forward to the challenge of leg seven. For those of you who don't know me, I used to be a member of the British sailing team. I campaigned for Rio 2016 in a NAC 17. Um, we narrowly missed out on winning the trials. And at that point I decided to take a bit of a different direction and do some big boat sailing. I've always sailed big boats in the Solent. Um, I grew up in Warsash, so um, it was something that I'd always done a bit of, but I wanted to see if I could make it as a so-called professional sailor, um, which kind of by accident led me to offshore racing. I gave it a bit of a go in 2016 over the summer, and in October 2016 the rule for two females per Worldly team was announced and I thought I'd be crazy not to give this opportunity a go. So a bit of luck, a bit of blind ambition kind of led me here but um, I'm really happy to be part of Vessels Lemonth Hour Racing and we're in the middle of the race now so I've learnt a lot and I know there's a huge amount more to come. So the Volvo Ocean Race involved a lot of changes for me, there was a huge amount to learn but one of the really nice things has been that there's been so many familiar faces, people that I've raced with and also suppliers and people um, for example, Harkin, who I've worked with in the past and they're involved with Olympic classes, dinghy sailing, but also these big Volvo Ocean 65s. So for these boats, it's their second time around the world and all of the equipment on there is still the same as last time. So you know, when we're standing there being nailed by waves coming over the bow, holding, bracing ourselves against the breaking water, um, it's amazing that the kit stands up to this for two whole laps of the planet. I really hope we go around Cape Horn in the day. I might, if we go around at night, ask if we can just day because I think it's definitely worth seeing but um, hopefully it won't be too cold. I know uh, we've got a lot of clothes in preparation and it'd just be amazing to see it. I'd be gutted to go around and not see Cape Horn at all. <laughs>